steam train locomotive is traveling at 18 meters per second. Its whistle, um, its whistle is blowing at a frequency of 2385. What is the frequency heard by, this, by a stationary observer when the locomotive is approaching the observer? Okay, and uh, then they just tell us, assume the speed of sound is, and I'm sorry, I should have put that in, the speed of sound in this question was 344 meters per second. Okay, can change, it depends on the questioner, what they want it to be, or the conditions of, uh, the atmospheric conditions in reality. Okay, an old steam train is traveling 18 meters per second, so here we have our uh, steam train, uh, let's go for the okay, these are steam train locomotive okay and it is traveling and it has a whistle okay I don't know if you've seen those whistles it has a whistle and that whistle is screeching and it is approaching a stationary listener here that is hearing the sound eventually reaches its e his ear okay and um, the question is what is the frequency observed okay so we see that the the listener is stationary okay however the source is moving the source is also moving moving towards the listener so um, how does that work okay well here's our frequency observed is equal to uh, the speed of sound minus the velocity of the listener divided by the speed of sound minus the velocity of the source uh, times the frequency of the source. That's our formula. Here we see the speed of sound is supposed to be 344. The velocity of the listener, he's stationary, so he's not moving. And uh, now we have the frequency of sound, 344 minus the velocity of the locomotive because it's traveling and it is traveling at 18 meters per second okay and therefore we are hearing more uh, wave crests per second because it's traveling towards me that is why in the denominator I'm going to take that out in the denominator is decreasing okay and if a no denominator decreases then the expression increases so that uh, multiply the frequency of the source we, we're also given that that is 2385 Hertz and what is our final answer let's see okay we have 344 minus 0 that's our numerator divided by, and I'm just putting it in brackets, for that's how my calculator works, minus 18, okay, and that gives me my denominator, 326, and now what you see, again, I get one point something, so this is more than 100% that I'm hearing, that makes sense, it's approaching me, so I'm hearing more waves per second than I would have if it was stationary, about 105% of the original ones, 105.5, so times 2385, gives me 2516.69 hertz that is what I'm hearing when it's, when, um, it's approaching the stationary observer how about the next question okay so this time they're telling us it's moving away from the observer okay now what that means is that if I would just draw a rough sketch here uh, there's my source moving in that direction having its sound waves uh, goes out and um, however it rather doesn't look like that rather it looks like uh, this okay since it's moving in that direction that looks <laughs> ugly okay but here's my here's my listener I'll just uh, draw an ear and you can see it's uh, we have fewer the the wave crests are further apart okay so if I were to substitute into my formula I get that the frequency observed is equal to C minus VL over C minus VS times FS okay and this frequency of sound or the velocity of sound hasn't changed the observer is still stationary um, so this stays the same 
Okay, and because it's now moving away from the listener, because they are now moving almost in opposite, they're not approaching each other, the velocity of the source is in the other direction, in a sense. So that this velocity of the source will now be negative, and therefore this becomes a positive. The velocity of the source we said was 18 meters per second times this frequency. What was that frequency again? 2385. 2385. And now what do we get? Uh, what answer do we get this time? Okay. We have uh, 344 in the numerator divided by in the denominator 344 plus 18 this time. So we see the numerator, denominator is now bigger, which means this thing is going to become smaller, and indeed now it's only 95% of the frequencies that I'm hearing. So 95% of 2385 gives me 2266.41. 2266,41 hertz. That's what we observe in the second part of this question.